Now, News Channel 5, John Kosick. It is not a stretch to say that there is a direct line and a direct link from Louis Stokes at Cleveland City Hall and Barack Obama at the White House. Yeah, Leah, not only not a stretch, really, it's a proven fact. That's why Lou Stokes' legacy is not just the path that he carved for himself, but the path that he carved for others as well. When Carl Stokes was elected Cleveland's first black mayor in 1967, his older brother Lewis fought not only for him that year, but for other African American politicians by challenging in court how legislative districts in Ohio were divided. People forget he was a great lawyer. Congresswoman Marsha Fudge now holds the Stokes seat, one he essentially created when he fought the gerrymandering of the districts that diluted for generations the black vote. He was the one who really was so good at what he did that he encouraged the state of Ohio to make the change before he had to sue them because they had already lost in the Supreme Court. He was going to sue the state of Ohio. They knew it and they said, we give. Let's just make the district for you. It was a district he would represent for 30 years, never resting on the comfort of having a so-called safe seat. He blazed a trail that led to top congressional assignments while standing as an example for those who would follow in his footsteps like a young Marsha Fudge, never losing touch with his quiet side. We were coming up, there were not a whole lot of people in the places that he was in. And so there was a great deal of pride in our community. He was powerful, and he never had to toot his own horn. Everybody knew it. I was a testament to his political shrewdness. One of my favorite stories Lou Stokes told me was how he would run for president, but only in the 11th congressional districts, and he would win. Therefore, the eventual nominee, if they wanted his delegates, they had to work with him. Reporting live in downtown Cleveland, John Kasich, News Channel 5. Quite a story. Many thanks, John.